What's good, Bougie fan? Welcome back to another Call of Duty mobile video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the full finger claw on how I use it, my button layout, sensitivity, and also a hand cam on how I hold my phone and use my fingers to perform when I play. Um, before the video actually starts, I just want to say a quick thank you to all of y'all to who supports my channel, show love, and all that. Like It's just truly amazing. Any more than just 1K, the numbers on the views and comments is just so unreal for me. I never thought it was possible or it would come this quickly. <laughs> I'm truly, truly thankful, guys, and I'm really happy that many of you all enjoy my content. Um, for those who are new, welcome to the channel. And um, here's a little quick story or a background. I did start playing Call of Duty around Season 6 with the cowboy theme. Uh, multiplayer was one of the games I played a lot before I started playing Battle Royale. Now, before I start playing Battle Royale or solo versus squads or whatnot, I like playing multiplayer as a warm-up. So I'll show you guys a quick hand cam video of me playing or warming up in multiplayer. Other than that guys, stick around. I will share more information about the button layout and all that at the end of the video. That being said, much love and respect. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoy.
the team underneath us. Okay. What? Okay, so that end is not... Shotgun, I'm not good at shotguns, I'm just gonna warn you. So. I'm not even gonna talk about shotguns. <sighs> Shit, I don't have ammo. Hi, Buji fam. So we're finally at the button layout and settings. I'm also going to be showing you guys my multiplayer setup just for all my MP players out there or if anybody else is just curious what my multiplayer setup looks like. The video will be slowed down for you guys just so you guys can see where all the buttons are at and if anybody else wants to try my layout. Um, I do want to talk to you guys for a little bit about what's the best layout, what's the best sensitivity, what's the best whatever you guys are looking for. 
there's no such thing as the best. It's just what's best for that player and what's best for you. And for you to figure that out, you guys need to just experiment and try out different layouts that you guys see on YouTube or information from other players and see how it works best for you. And it's just about readjusting your buttons to where your fingers are able to have easy access or like, you know, or it's easy for you to press that certain button that you're trying to press and have that flow. And it's very important to do that because there's times where with my previous hand cam videos, you guys seen my layout. Uh, my buttons were always different or always changing because I was always readjusting. I was just always testing out different things to see what works best for me. And that's something that you players or new players or anybody else who has this kind of question, you guys need to practice and try out different things and just adjust to your liking. Um, another question that I've been reading was uh, or getting was, uh, do you need to be a four finger claw player or six fingers to become a pro experience or a better player? Uh, I like to say no. I don't think you need to be a four finger claw or a six finger player or whatever you want to call it. I know a lot of good players out there that I play with and friends of mine who are only thumb players and three finger claw players, which is really amazing because when I was a thumb player or a three finger claw player, I couldn't move the way they move. So to me, that's very unique. And it just shows that it just goes by preference or what's best for that player and how, how much time you invested as well. So no, you don't need to be a four finger claw player to play like me or to become better or play like the, uh, the big players out there like Narco, Zara, Oxness and all them players out there. So it's all about experimenting testing things out adjusting to your liking and it's just all about figuring out what's best for you guys so make sure you guys invest a lot of time what i did when it comes to readjusting my buttons trying different things for my layout i always practice in the ai bot room just so i get a little feel of like where everything's at with my buttons how my hands feel how i'm holding my phone all that good stuff for me to get comfortable so always practice in the AI room or Alcatraz for Battle Royale or any type of game in multiplayer. It's the best way to practice it and, well, not the best way, I should say. <laughs> just best for me. That's how I did it. That's just how I practice and want to get better at. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I do appreciate your guys' support and love. It's amazing where the channel is going and how fast it's growing. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, we're about to hit 2k subs, which is really amazing and came back really quickly, guys. It's just, it's truly amazing how much, how much people enjoy my content. It's just, it's a, I'm honestly speechless. <laughs> but thank you guys again. As always, much love and respect. For those who are new, welcome. I hope you guys stick with me for a while. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you're new, subscribe and... I see you guys.